<laughs> Couple of creeps. He will have buyback saber light. He's 48 gold short of the buyback. He's going to live long enough to get any money. He, uh, turning for one CS would do it. Okay, maybe another. 30 gold short of the buyback. There's a courier. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that still won't do. He's still short of the gold. <laughs> gold. They're looking to end the game here. Down the mid. Do we see as well Tomado? He's only 180 gold short of the buyback, but he is short of it. There's no chance of defending. OG, they're going to the edge and they'll take the game. Damn, what a crazy last fight that was. Funnily enough, one of the deciding factors for OG in winning this game was TA choosing the 25 talent with the refraction charges. So he did up for that one. That's why it took them forever to kill Yuragi. I thought it wasn't going to be that important, but actually it bought him like three or four additional seconds in that team fight. He buys back, comes back, and he's just impossible for them to deal with. OG very wise in their selection of that fight. They go in. The moment Nightstalk Cruelty is unavailable and it's daytime, they force this fight. Yep. And it was super close. If that's yeah. nighttime, they don't win that well, fight. Well, that's the thing, right? It's that same area pretty much two times where OG took those fights around that perfect moment of switching back to daytime. TSM FTX not prepared for OG to make that sort of quick move when it changes from night to day. And that second time round, that will secure them the win. A couple of TSM FTX members a little short on the goal to get the buyback, so they had no chance of a defense. As that game three will go to OG as they now lead the best of five, two to one against TSM FTX.